instead of having one equation, it's two. Um, but it's, that's why it's in this unit because it's still related to it. Let's say I had something like this. X plus Y uh, is equal to six. And then I had negative three X plus Y is equal to two. Okay. And it would say solve the following systems of equations. That means that you should be able to figure out what the X is equal to and what the Y is equal to. And then you have to write it as an ordered pair. So X comma Y. Okay. There are multiple ways of doing this. I will show you the way that works every time. And I will show you the uh, a way that works some of the times. It's kind of a shortcut. And then I'm going to show you another way where it just involves graphing these two things. All right. The way that's the surefire way that works every single time is substitution. So what we can do is we can take one of these. I'm going to take the first one. And I'm going to substitute in for Y. So I'm going to solve for Y, essentially. So it should be 6 minus X. So I minus X from both sides here. I would write this down, by the way. You are going to be expected to do this. And these do get a little bit harder after this as well, because we're going to do some stuff with quadratics on it. Okay. Um, so then now that Y is equal to 6X, or I'm sorry, 6 minus X, I'm going to replace that Y right there with 6 minus X. So you're going to be left with negative 3x plus 6 minus x. A good rule of thumb is always put whatever you substitute with parentheses, okay? Because sometimes if that was a negative or something like that, it would throw it off because you have to distribute the negative. So I would always put it in parentheses when you substitute. And the last thing you do is you just solve this out. So uh, negative 3x minus x is negative 4x. Okay, I'm going to subtract 6 here, subtract 6 here, and you get negative 4 here. You solve for x, and you get x is equal to 1. Okay? So this is equal to 1. But we also need the y. Okay? We're also looking for the y. What's great about substitution is you always have a substitution equation here for y. So you just plug x in, so it's 6 minus 1 is 5. So your final answer for this is 1 comma 5. Okay. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it involves uh, a process called elimination, which I'm sure rings a little bit of a bell for you because you covered it a lot in other math classes. Oops, why did I do that? So I'm going to use the exact same problem just to show you that you get the same answer for both of them. Okay, so with elimination, what you do is if they line up in such a way that the uh, like certain values match up, like y and y here, what you can do is you can just subtract going straight down for all of these. So six minus two is four. Y minus y is zero. Okay, so the y's are gone. X minus negative three is four x. Okay, then what you can do is you can divide. This is meaningless. We can divide both sides by four, and you get X is equal to one. Okay, if you notice, we got one before as well for the X. Okay, this one does not have a Y equation though, so to find the Y, you have to plug it into either of the equations. It doesn't matter, you get the same answer either way. Let's plug it into the original. So it's gonna be one plus Y is equal to six. Well, one plus some number is equal to six. Obviously, that's gonna be equal to five. I mean, if you want, you could subtract one from both sides, but it's kind of obvious. So again, you get one comma five with elimination. And so that's like a shortcut way of doing it. Another way you can do it is if you graph them. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. And this comes in handy every now and then. The problem with graphing is you have to have it as y equals something. Okay. So right now the equations are not y equals. So what you would have to do, I'm going to paste it over here. What you would have to do for the graphing is you have to solve both of these for y. Okay. So the first one I kind of already solved for before. It was just 6 minus x. The bottom one, if you add the 3x to the other side, it's going to be 3x plus 2. Okay, so now we have the two y equations. So what you can do is graph one graph the other, 
Okay, wherever they intersect, that's their answer. So you do second calc five, just similar to what we did before, second calc five, enter, 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 and you get one comma five. And as you can see, you get you end up with the exact same answer that we got for all the other ways of doing it. And this should be a review, okay? Eventually you're gonna have a systems of equations where instead of having it where it's like this, maybe there's a squared here, okay? Or maybe there's a squared here. Okay, so you can't do elimination all the time with these if it doesn't match up with that. That's why um, substitution is the way to go because it always works. But uh, you could also graph it as well. Um, you, I mean, you'd still be expected to show work, but at least there's options to check your work.